Okay, so, um, I just got back my New Testament Part 1 paper, and I went to check my grade online on Populi, and I go on, and, um, I get onto the New Testament page, and it says I have an F, and I was really upset, because I've never had an F in anything. So I go on to the assignments, and I look at the assignment, and I see that I only got a 33 on my paper. 33 is not okay with me, I don't want a 33 on any paper. And I was like, what the heck did I do wrong? So I went back and checked, and I did everything he wanted. I filled out every single requirement exactly, and so I wasn't sure. So then I went back on, and he left me a little note, and he said... What did he say? He said, Nathan, I sent you an email, um, just concerned about a couple of things. If you could check it as soon as possible, that would be great. P.S. I don't mean to chide you, it's just that I'm really concerned about you and want to make sure you're okay. So I was like, what the heck did I just send this man? Um, and so I go onto my email, and I have an email from Brother Nathan. And inside of the email, um, it says, like, Nathan, the things you shared in your paper were very personal, and it seems like you're very tormented right now, and I just want to make sure that you're okay, and I think that you should be seeking counseling from this, because um, these are very deep issues you're sharing here, and I just want to make sure you're okay praying for you. And I was like, what the heck did I send him? So I go back and I read my paper, and the paper has absolutely nothing to do with me. It has to do with the Bible. So I was like, what the heck? So um, I go back onto the homework assignment, and I click on it to see um, his, like, notes and stuff about what he had to say about my paper, and I realized I did not send him the right paper at all. I actually sent him a note I wrote to Jesus. Um, so, um, how this all goes is I was in the student center when... No. So first off, I'm taking a class with Sister Sylvia all about prophecy, and we're supposed to ask for a prophecy and pray about it. So I've been asking God for prophecy, and he started to give me different words for some different students. Um, some of the things he said were things that I really didn't want to talk to them about because I didn't feel comfortable sharing these things. So I was just feeling kind of upset. Plus, with homework, I was just kind of stressed out. So I'm sitting there in the student center. I write out, I finish the book of Matthew, and then I completely switch gears to just venting to God. And I'm just like, God... Why did you tell me these things? I can't do this. I don't want to write about these things. I don't want to have to talk to these people. I feel alone and empty. Why are you doing this to me? And then from there, I completely, I talk about this and that wasn't good. So I'm sorry um, that I talked about you, friend. Um, and then um, I go in to completely switching gears and talking about the music I'm listening to. I was listening to Gladys Knight. And I'm like, dude, Jesus, thank you so much for Gladys Knight. And then I write, she can sing Hefa in capitals. And that's not okay to write, but I wrote that. And so then I write a little bit more about Jesus. I just think you're so cool and you're so great. And I love you so much. Sincerely, Nathan Smales. And then I realized that's what I sent him. And on the thing on Populi, he writes, Nathan, he says... It seems to be you're very emotional right now. Is this normal? Are you okay? Do you want to talk about these things? He's like, um, you only wrote the book of Matthew, so unfortunately I'm going to have to fail you, but if you ever want to sit up by my office and talk, that would be great. So I was like, why, God? So I just went over to his office to talk to him about these things, and I explained everything to him. I explained it that I was just venting to God, and that I actually don't feel alone or upset, and that it ended up being really good, and the things I said needed to be said, and so I felt encouraged, and they felt encouraged. So I was happy, and he goes, okay, that's really good. Just to let you know, I told Dr. John Miller. And I was like, why did you do that? And so now he's going to try to explain to him what actually happened. And I sent him my real paper so that he can grade it. But when I went back, I wrote... Brother Nathan, here's my real paper, sorry for the inconvenience, and I send him the same thing again! So I just feel absolutely awful right now, but then I sent him the real one, and now he's going to grade it, and hopefully I won't get a 33, and that's my story!